Well, I guess they do need each other after all. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. Did I mention I was wrong? So I did a video uh, where I said the Oasis reunion, I don't believe it, I don't buy it. I sat here in this chair and said I don't believe it and I don't buy it. And it's happened. And some people were like, don't you look silly now? And I'll admit, I look silly. And you know what? I, ne I, I genuinely believed what I was saying. I did not think it was real. I did not believe it whatsoever. So you can't blame me for making a video from my own you know, genuine thoughts. But what do I think now the Oasis reunion has been officially announced? I'm going to keep the video up. I'm going to keep it up. I'm not going to change the title either. I'm not going to change the title where I say I don't believe it. So don't have a go at me. I'm admitting I'm a, I was wrong and I'm being the bigger man. But Oasis have announced the reunion and I must admit that image of them together just warmed my heart. It really did. I don't care if they're genuinely in that photo where they want to kill each other and they didn't get on or whatever it is i hope they did but just seeing them there together blows my mind it's an image i never thought i would see look the reason i was so adamant that oasis wouldn't reform is because in recent years i'd made peace with it i was one of those people saying they should reform they should reform and then i made peace with it and i convinced myself all the reasons noel gallagher threw at me about how it wouldn't work it wouldn't be the same all this stuff and I brought it, and then the ultimate swerve happened when old Noel himself went, nope, I don't believe any of that, I'm back. You know, the initial thrill of it has been really good. I love the initial flavour of it. Everyone's excited, everyone I know is excited. It's all over the TV, the photo of them together, just the excitement, you know, the happiness, the jolt of electricity at a time where we, where we need it. The jolt of electricity at a time when we need something to rally behind. You know, Oasis was that. You know, we forget like the happiness they brought people back then. And it, I've already seen remnants of that happiness just in the first day or so. So, you know what? Maybe you just have to do these things to see if they work again. You know, I, w I accepted it. I took Noel's argument that it can't work again. The magic won't be there. And I convinced myself. I tried to go, come on, Jim, you need to grow up and, it and let it go. But I guess you only know if you try. And at the moment... It seems like the electricity, just the idea of them being together again, has perked people up, has got awakened those feelings. It's given them a boost. It's made them happy. And I've got quite a lot to say. I mean, I will be trying to get tickets. And people are going to be commenting, going, well, you said it won't be good. You said this, you said that. Yeah, I know, because I was sitting there absorbing all the stuff I've been told for years, convincing myself, trying to grow up, trying to grow out of it. And now that it's happening, I'm like, well, I'm not going to miss it just just because, you know, I convinced myself it was wrong. I mean, it might be wrong, but I feel like if it's going to happen, I'm going to try. And you know what? This is going to be like Frodo doing the journey to Mordor. Getting those tickets, guys, let me know in the comments. Let's, let's, let's re, you know, let's get together. We can all agree getting those tickets is going to be an absolute bloody nightmare. I'm not looking forward to it in the slightest. I'm really going to try. But I'm not looking forward to it in the slightest. That is going to be so stressful and horrible getting those tickets. <laughs> That's the only downfall of it. I will be really happy if I get them. I'll be really happy because it's a bucket list thing. you know. And I think the reason why I was so adamant it shouldn't happen is because I wanted to make peace with myself that I'd never see it. I was a teenager when OS is split up. And lots of people put comments um, in one of my videos saying I can't be a real fan because I never saw them back in the 90s heyday, which is a ridiculous argument. But you know what? I'm going to try and see him now. I'm going to try and see him as much as possible. I've seen Liam Gallagher. I've seen Noah. I've seen BDI. You know what I mean? Like, if that's not good enough, I'll see Oasis. You know, I'm not going to miss this opportunity to see them. I mean, it's not the right time. The right time would probably be about five years ago because I have heard that Liam's voice has started to go. But it won't be as bad as people... People saying that his voice is gone are silly. You know, Liam's still going to be able to do it. But it, it's not going to be good as it was five years ago. So they have done it at the absolute last time they can do it. But why not? You know, at least it's happening. Um, you know, and they, I just really hope that it's just a great thing. A great uniting thing. What's the future going to be for Oasis then? I mean, this is the interesting thing. I want to know how they got to this point. Do they hate each other, despise each other, and they're just doing this for money? Obviously, Noel has got the divorce to pay for. Um, very much 
I don't even think, even if they were best of buddies, we know the majority of this is for money. We know this. Because the money's going to be, I mean, the money was is just going to be off the, the scale. It's going to be astronomical. So obviously the money's a big part. Is it the only part is my question, you know. You cannot tell from that photo that was released whether they like each other or whatever it is. You know, is it just they're tolerating each other? Because if they're tolerating each other and it's just for the money and it's just for these shows... I don't, I'm happy, I'll try and see it, but I don't really want that. What I want is I want them to go on this tour and like each other and regain that affection for each other and fall in love with Oasis again. You know why I want that? Because, you know, funnily enough, I'm not just want you know, like a lot of people who wanted the Oasis reunion, just see them for one night and that's it. I actually want Oasis to go on. This is a difference between me and a lot of people who say I'm not a real fan because I wasn't there in the What's the Story era watching it. No, but I have been there for every album since, supporting every solo effort, BDI, Noel Gallagher, because I'm not someone who lives in the past and is obsessed with just recreating that. I am all about moving forward with these. I'll always stand by Liam and Noel Gallagher. So I want to hear more Oasis. And the only way that's ever going to happen, and I know people are commenting going, it will never happen, is if they have a good time on this tour. And they regain that trust and that belief in each other and whatever it is. If it's just to fill it, to do it, but to stop people asking them and to get some money, we'll never see Oasis again. If they go on this and they have a great time, I think there's a chance of a single. Um, or And then possibly down the road an album. If they become best friends. If they're like in their 50s and they go, let's just let it all go. We're brothers. We've been through so much. If they become best of friends... We'll see more Oasis, and that excites me more than just the night of Oasis, because I believe in the entirety of the Oasis journey. I believe in Liam and Noel carrying on. I want to see what they could do at this point in their careers. I don't, you know, I'm not just there as a one-off, as a lot of people are. And it's a shame that I'll be competing with many people on the tickets who are just a one-off, who went to some gigs in the 90s and believe that's all Oasis is, who don't like the other albums, you know. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to flip the script a bit. I've been called not a real fan. I'll flip the script a bit. You're not a real fan. If you're just going because you love What's the Story and you liked them and I want to see that for one night and then they can fuck it, go away. I loved every album. So I'm a real fan. Well, this time I've been called not a real fan just because I'm young. I am a real fan. I'll stand by them. I want to see all of that stuff and more. Do you just want to see that stuff is the question. I'm not talking about you watching this video. I'm talking about the people who say that I'm not a real fan, by the way. But I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm going to try and see them. And I really hope that, mainly, that Liam and Noel have revived their friendship and they're actually friends. I do get the sense that perhaps they're not. And that's a shame because I really want that to happen more than anything. Um, hopefully it happens on this tour. Hopefully this tour really revives oasis in their hearts you know and their love for each other in their hearts but who knows thanks for watching everyone let me know how you're feeling about the oasis reunion in the comments below let me know let's talk about it please consider subscribing and check out more of my oasis videos and album reviews on the channel and i will see you guys next time